It is the 29th of the 9th, 2013. This is your radioactive reality. I'd be doing these more often, but it seems uh, the stories just sound the same week to week. Any news? Former top U.S. nuclear official, Fukushima is ultimately unprecedented. Its legacy of contamination is very different from any other radiological disaster in history. Human civilization may destroy itself. Quote, I mean, look at Fukushima. Liquefaction of three nuclear reactor cores. First time any core ever liquefied. It's still out of control. A 311 disaster could start all over again. They still got to deal with getting rid of all of these fuel rods. And uh, trying to deal with these melted nuclear coreums. Mysterious black substance flew all the way to Tokyo area from Fukushima 10 days after the first explosion. Since then, they've been shrouded in horror. Quote, everyone here looks somewhat damaged by the radiation. Nuclear expert, disgusting that Fukushima Corium hasn't been located. If melted fuel burned to the center of the earth, it'd be nice. That gets rid of it. Impossible to retrieve all of it. And you would think with all the satellite technology of today, uh, rumors have it they can read the face of a dime from outer space. Uh, they can't seem to find where these corium are. FDA imported, import alert. U.S. bans agricultural and fishery products from 14 prefectures in Japan due to Fukushima radiation. Top newspaper concern over contamination is spreading to most countries around the Pacific. And it better be around the world because this stuff spread over the northern hemisphere and it's seeping into the southern now. On Fukushima Beach. Textbook Fukushima disaster contaminated the territory of Japan, Sea of Japan, Korea, up to 10 orders of magnitude above global fallout background off Prefecture's coast. Arnie Gunderson, 200 brand new fuel bundles in Fukushima Unit Number 4 pool are most at risk to start nuclear chain reaction. This is why we've all been seriously concerned about Number 4. Remember, 100 foot in the air, cracks in it already. If too close together during removal, there will be criticality. They have to be very, very cautious. Fukushima mothers plead to the United Nations. Children and adults are suffering tremendously. Sharp increases in body urine, bone pain, more. Doctors say many have similar symptoms with unknown causes. Family health deteriorated all at once, and they recovered right after they moved. Censored Japan, government scientist reveals much more radioactive materials leaking into the Pacific from Fukushima than claimed by TEPCO. Big surprise to everyone. It's getting released outside the port, port's barrier, directly into the ocean. Officials refuse to allow publication of study on sea contamination. Now 400 tons a day of toxic water is estimated to be entering the Pacific Ocean plant uh, from Fukushima. 100 more tons per day than what, or 100 tons per day more than uh, what TEPCO had claimed. A leakage of radioactive material is becoming serious. It is serious, has been serious, and will continue to be serious. Uh, these numbers are way, way low. Nuclear explosion may have occurred at Fukushima Unit 3 after a supercritical condition. We all saw the video. Sudden increase in plutonium, uranium recorded by the United States at several EPA stations right before they quit reporting. Uh, plutonium was um, found in the air in Europe after the Fukushima incident. And a major um, increase goes through about every 40 something days, if I remember correctly. And this isn't going to go away anytime soon. They're still burning stuff in open incinerators, directly into the atmosphere, blah, blah, blah. Newsflash, TEPCO admits not working on plan to stop Fukushima radioactive leaks flowing into the ocean. They're not working on a plan to stop Fukushima radioactive leaks flowing into the ocean. Barriers to block massive underground contamination on hold. Prime Minister and TEPCO still cling to the lie that it's staying inside the port.
Don't worry folks, there's no immediate danger. Unusually high radioactive detected in Fukushima groundwater by ocean outside reactor 1 and 2. High level strontium contamination spreading underground. Uh, this is well known. The problem just continues. It compiles. It accumulates. It accumulates. That, that it's not going to hurt you dose is a one time thing. Two and a half years people. Two and a half years accumulating. Reporters in Japan write about rise in birth defects for 2011. University won't date, publish data on malformed babies after many years of doing so. Not releasing figures for Fukushima. Other prefixtures. Expert. This is ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. It's criminal. Arnie Gunderson again. Fukushima Daiichi far from stable. Water pooling at site could allow units to tilt during the earthquake, liquefaction of the ground because it's so saturated. Cooling a melted fuel that is in buildings is going to be jeopardized. Uh, we'd be back to 311 again. Pray there's no quake. That's critical. We are now looking at a high likelihood of release as large as Chernobyl or even larger from Fukushima, Obama's top science advisor after 311. That is a major understatement. Tokyo professor from the beginning, e, e News did an incredible job of gathering all these news sources. I check it all the time. And I read it all the time. e, e News, if you don't have this bookmarked, <laughs> something wrong. Uh, nuclear experts, Fukushima Unit Number 4 has shown signs of collapsing. Underneath buildings, it's becoming saturated. Known fractures in the soil. Large structure already went down at plant after ground was super saturated and had a meds mudslide in March of 2011. You gotta remember they built this nuclear power plant on top of a river on loose ground. Sinkhole potential at Fukushima plant from pumping up groundwater? Question mark. Nuclear expert? Yeah, that's a very good point may very well happen if workers take out too much water from an area with all these tanks on it. It's just what they need. Sinkholes. Uh, U.S. Nightly News, or NBC Nightly News. Worker at Fukushima plant, scientists reveals increased amounts of radioactive groundwater have started flowing into the ocean. Contamination levels in marine life is starting to rise and other countries are worried. This is spreading across the Pacific and again I cannot stress enough, this will not go away in your lifetime, your kid's lifetime, your grandkid's lifetime, or their grandkid's lifetime. We are just getting started, folks. Just getting started. Over to Fukushima Diary Daily News. Multiple nucleoid removing system, ALPS, stopped again 22 hours after a test operation restarted. So they can't treat the water. This uh, French treatment system is uh, working wonderfully. <laughs> Alps and frozen ground wall are the last hope for contaminated water problem. The Alps filter system doesn't work and uh, they stopped progress on the popsicle dam because it's going to cause way more problems than it'll help solve. Their only hope, huh? Over to EXS, or EXSKF blog site, another great place if you haven't bookmarked this one. Trial fishing in, uh, in Iwaki City in Fukushima to start. Fishing caught will be sold if they pass monitoring sampling tests. <sighs> All this releasing water, they're going on and on about. They cannot stop but they're still fishing off the coast of Japan. Finally tonight, in formidable news, Japan to accept help from France at Fukushima Daiichi. After the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster, Japan thought TEPCO would be able to manage the problem. But earlier this year, the government was forced to step in and play a bigger role. TEPCO and the Japanese government are one and the same. 
Now, two and a half years after the onset of March 11th nuclear disaster, Japan has officially finally accepted international help with the crippled Fukush Fukushima plant from France, who will help decommission and dismantle the crippled reactors. Aren't they helping with the crippled reactor in Chernobyl, which is what, 15, 20 years behind now? The move signals how little progress has been made by the Japanese on their 40 plus year decommissioning project. <laughs> and also cast a doubt on Prime Minister's statement that, to the Olympic Committee that the crisis at Fukushima Daiichi is under control. Blatant lie. Ever since the 1986 Chernobyl nuclear disaster, Russia's known there is not such a thing as a national nuclear accident. They are all international disasters. you got to remember, it wasn't capitalism that destroyed the Soviet Union. It was Chernobyl. The Russians offered to help Japan two years ago, but are still waiting to be taken up on that offer. They offered Japan highly absorbent materials which would help handle contaminated water. The Russians have always said that pumping water into the crippled reactors would create more problems than solutions. The insanity continues. It just continues. And again, week after week after week, it just seems like the same things are coming out of Fukushima. It's important to pay attention and to be aware with what's going on. Um, you know, enjoy what you can, everybody. I am. Thanks.